Hi, my name is Marisa and if you are new to my channel, welcome! If you already saw one of my videos, I'm happy that you liked it and that you are now seeing this one. Since Lisa Eldridge commented on one of her videos at the end of last year that she had been using the cream by Professor Augustinus Bader and that she was liking it, I became very interested. Nevertheless, um, I've always been reticent in trying it on me because my skin is very complicated, rosacea prone. I find that it looks and feels the best when I keep a very simple and consistent skincare regime. And this cream is also quite expensive. But now, a Victoria Beckham has come out with a priming moisturizer in partnership with Professor Augustinus and I thought to myself, okay, this is um, a good opportunity to check out what the hype is all about. So I ordered the primer on the day it came out and I've been using it for the last five days. If you are interested in seeing what has been my experience so far, what are the claims, ingredients, just stay right there and keep on watching. The primer comes in this beautiful glass bottle with the tortoise shell motif and it's dispensed through a pump, which is great. Um, and the bottle comes in this nice Victoria Beckham Beauty beige cardboard packaging. Um, the primer is produced in France and it has a shelf life of six months after open. It's retailed in two different sizes, 30 milliliters and 50 milliliter bottles. Before we talk about ingredients, I would like to make some disclaimers or putting in a different way, tell you what are my considerations and analysis before I introduce a new product in my skincare routine. First is that obviously each skin is unique, so what works for you may not work for me and vice versa. So no matter how much we read or hear about a certain active ingredient or product, and nothing actually replaces doing a trial test um, during a, a limited amount of time to see if any unexpected reactions occur. The second one is that, and this one is particularly true for products that are considered innovations in their particular field, also obviously applicable to cosmetics and skincare, is that what we think is good for us or for our skin at the moment may turn out to be um, not as good in, in a short period of time and vice versa. And for instance, all the products derived from petroleum um, nowadays we try to avoid them and in the past they were considered good. This is the consequence of the evolution that we have in science and uh, it's up to each one of us to decide if we want to stick with more traditional but proved um, as positive products or we want to risk and invest in more cutting-edge, innovative products. And the third one has to do with accumulation and what do I mean by this? Sometimes we may not be sensitive or allergic to a certain ingredient, but if we use it in um, many different products during a great amount of time, the skin may develop a sensitivity to it and uh, grow to become allergic. So personally, what I do um, to avoid a possible situation like this is to rotate the product. If I'm very keen on a certain uh, active ingredient, I try to find simil a similar product in an alternative brand to make sure that things like 
solvents, preservatives, sickness mm, do not uh, remain the same and therefore uh, reducing the probability of accumulation. So, having shared with you my concerns when I think about introducing a new product in my uh, skincare routine, let's talk about uh, the cream from uh, Dr. Uh, sorry, Professor Augustinus Bader. The skin cells of our body have the capacity to heal and renew themselves during a period of 27 days. Unfortunately, as we grow old, that pr those processes start to slow down and lose efficiency. What Dr. Augustinus found by studying uh, stem cells and burns was a way of supporting and improving these natural processes from our body using a blend of 40 ingredients including vitamins and amino acids and other synthesized molecules that are found naturally in our body. He called this mixture the trigger factor complex or TFC8 for short and it has uh, at the moment a patent that is under his brand. This cream generated a lot of hype and there are those that absolutely swear by it and there are those that um, do not agree with the claims and um, basically they say that it's a very good expensive moisturizer. It's this TFC8 factor that is included on the Victoria Beckham priming moisturizer. And you, you can see above uh, the ingredient list and I have also placed at the end in bigger size the, the full ingredient list with some observations on uh, each um, ingredient and also a comparison of the top 10 ingredients with the top 10 ingredients of the Augustinus Bader the cream. Those ingredients are different by the way and I wanted to find out as well if the TFC8 uh, pro mixture or factor is in which position is in the ingredient lists of the priming moisturizer because it will give me an idea of what is the, the percentage in the overall composition. And uh, on this I was pleased because um, the TFC8 factor is above the medium uh, position of the ingredients um, which are 39 if I'm not mistaken. The claims of the priming moisturizer are that it supports cell turnover on account of the TFC8, that it imparts immediate glow, smooths out pores and fine lines and gives uh, like a, a smooth canvas of, uh, to the skin for the whatever makeup it comes next and this is achieved with the use of optical powders namely synthetic fluorologopite, which is an ingredient that we have seen recently in the composition of eyeshadows and highlighters. And finally, that it increases moisture and radiance uh, with the inclusion in the formula of black tea uh, ferment and the microalgae as well as glycerin uh, sodium hyaluronate and other uh, emollients and water binding agents. Regarding ingredients, I would like only to point out, mainly for those of you that have sensitive skin like me, that the primer has uh, papain, which is an enzyme 
um, that is obtained from papaya fruit and is used in cosmetics as an exfoliant uh, alternative to the AHAs. Now, personally, I don't use AHAs on a regular basis. I sometimes use lactic acid as a toner or in a pill at a salon under supervision and um, they, it never stays like permanently on my face. It's removed um, after a short amount of time. So when I saw that there was this enzyme, this chemical exfoliant on the formulation, I have kept an eye on it. Um, so I would advise um, if you have sensitive skin also to be aware. The, moisture, the priming moisturizer comes out like a lotion. It's not as thick as a cream, but it's not a liquidy, as you can see. It's white. When you put it on the skin, it doesn't have any fragrance or herbal scent to it. It does give a glow. I don't see any particles of shimmer on the skin unless I have like direct light on it and I look through a five times magnification mirror and then I can see very very small particles of um, shimmer. I, I did not try the, the primer that Victoria Beckham developed with extra loader, um, but I think by what I heard at the time that uh, this one is uh, less shimmery, less glowy. It has more of a natural look. It doesn't feel oily on the skin, it is immediately absorbed, but we sense that the skin is moisturized. In terms of application, on the first day I used it on top of a hyaluronic acid serum and my usual physical sunscreen which has dimethicone in it um, and it worked perfectly, my skin felt comfortable and, uh, and it got radiant on my T-zone after a couple of hours but that is absolutely normal. I just blot it, I didn't use during that day any powder. On the second day I didn't use any hyaluronic acid serum, I used priming moisturizer first and then on top I applied the um, physical screen with the idea that it makes more sense um, because the dimethicone in it acts, acts as a barrier. Actually both the, the titanium and the, the zinc oxide and the dimethicone act as a barrier so it would make more sense to have uh, the moisturizing ingredients below it and I didn't powder. I didn't feel that my skin got any drier. It felt equally comfortable during the day. It got a little bit uh, more radiant on the T-zone and I just plotted. On the third and fourth day I applied exactly as in the second. No powders and um, I, what I noticed was that on the sides of my nose my skin start to flake and fall out. I didn't introduce any other uh, changes on my skin care so I would conclude that it was due to the um, pain but in the meantime when I woke up this morning it was in a better condition and it's not flaking, so I think it's getting normal. So in this first impressions and regarding the claims, I think it definitely moisturizes, but without uh, feeling or looking greasy, oily. So it's perfectly appropriate for normal combo and uh, dry skin, probably in combination with other moisturizers regarding oily skins. Depending on the level of oiliness you would either have to use it alone or powder it.
it gives a very natural glow to the skin. I don't see a major smoothness of lines or pores. On the Victoria Beckham Beauty site, um, they present the results of a clinical study and a client study and in which they say in that in six weeks and the results of um, cell turnover, pore reduction and radiance increase improve at minimum by 81%. Well, as I said, these are first impressions, so at the moment I can neither confirm or deny those claims. I will definitely continue to use it, um, but it is double function of primer and moisturizer only at night when I will not need to use a physical sunscreen. Looking at the ingredients list, I can see that it has been very carefully sought and formulated. So if you are curious like me, I recommend to try it as well. I cannot say at this moment that it's a, a must and that you definitely have to get it. So let's see what will be my conclusions when I finish this bottle. And that's it for this video. I hope it was um, helpful to clarify some of your questions regarding the primer. If you did find it useful and you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye!